Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on BeatHawk. In this video I'd like to go through in more details uh, the explanation of the browser um, screen or section of BeatHawk, which you can see here. So how do you access it first of all? Well, you click on a pad and then you have other two choices. One, you click on the browser button here or you can click in this space here where it normally it would show uh, the preset, the sample and the instrument that you have loaded. So when you enter uh, the uh, browser screen, you have a section here on the left, which is showing you the library and you have different library. So it comes uh, out of the box with the EDM factory um, the urban factory. And then of course, so you can add the additional ones if you purchase them uh, directly as you can see here there is a list under here where um, of libraries which have also a symbol here on the top right hand side of a trolley plus a sign which means you can buy additional ones from the store you also have a user library as well which allows you to browse what you auto saved and what you recorded as well um, Let's go back to the EDM factory. As you click on the library, you have a category um, which belongs to that library. So in this case, EDM factory is composed by three categories, the drum elements, drum loops and instrument. If you click again on the category, you have different groups which belongs to that uh, category, category. In this example, example, drum elements is composed by drum kit, bass drum and claps. And of course, if you click then on the group itself, you can see the instrument or sample on the right hand side here. So on the same for drum loops. Of course, as you click on uh, one instrument or sample, you select it. And if you click again, you sample it. Okay, perfect. On the right hand side here, you have cell selection or the pad. Okay. Um, so, for example, um, I could decide to take these uh, a loop and load it onto the sample. And in that case, I click load. And when it's loaded, it appears here. And also the, the red button goes to green and it says loaded. I can go to another pad. Uh, as you can see, it says here is to load, is in red. I can choose, for example, an instrument, bell, bell acoustic. And I can load that there. And of course, if I exit, I find that the two, uh, the loop and the instrument have been loaded on the first two pads. So, okay, as you can see, also the um, loop appears here now, and the same is also for the instrument as well. So let's go back to the browser window. You have also a play button, which uh, will play the current pattern, which is selected, which you can also stop. And you can go also to the next or previous button as well. We have seen the load button or the um, loaded button as it changes and the exit button. Okay, next, what I would like to show you is under library, you have a menu. Here you can browse to the selected pad. You can clear the selected pad or you can select all packages. For example, I'll show you here. It selects all the packages at the level you are at which means that you can browse all of them together, which becomes really handy. And you can restore purchases and you can close, of course, the menu. If you are in the user library and you click on the menu again, you have additional options. So you can audio copy, okay, paste. And this is useful if you want to do that, um, if you're working with audio copy and also load it to a pad as well, you can import it to the iCloud. So you can import a file from iCloud like so. And um, you can create a new directory as well. Okay, now let's explore one of uh, the um, <coughs> library which I've already did, added to my list. So the disco library. As you can see, there are different categories. This one comes with some vocals. Bad. It comes also with some percussion loop. There are some instruments loop, really nice. And you can see also the chord or the key. 
So this is in A minor. This one is F sharp minor. You have some drum loops, some acoustic one, very nice one. And you also have some drum element as the samples or also as uh, instrument as well and you have some construction kit which um, if you like group all you need to create for example a disco in a minor and here you have everything you need in instrument sample so for example loops instrument and sample themselves Um, sometimes if you play and it doesn't do anything, it means that it's loading it up. So you just wait for a moment uh, and this icon which was rear on the right and on the bottom right side will disappear. When it has disappeared, it means uh, you can play. Perfect. So let's, um, let's try, for example, uh, something from the construction kit. Let's go on E minor and let's load, for example, these uh, um, drum loop, which is nice. Let's go to the second part. Let's load something uh, like um, maybe this one. No, um, stick it on E minor. This one. This one. Oh, maybe is one load, and let's load also a base. Okay, now let's click exit, and as you can see, I loaded the um, three loops. Uh, onto pads and one, two, and three, and now I can use my fingers and enjoy. And so on and so forth. So makes it more interesting. Let's add some vocal. For example, uh, <laughs> let's load that one. Let's click on exit. <laughs> And the great thing is that the loops are always played at tempo, which is really, really nice. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Now you can see how, you know, how to use the uh, browser um, screen and sections and uh, its functionality. And uh, I also showcase a little bit the disco library itself, which uh, is great fun. Thank you. Bye.